Here's your wrestling news for November 30th, 2022. And we're starting today with NXT, as it was last week that Shawn Michaels announced the Iron Survivor Challenge, which will determine the number one contenders for the NXT and NXT women's titles. This week, Michaels was back on the show to announce the participants, but the WWE Hall of Famer didn't come alone. Michaels joined the ring with other Hall of Famers, including his DX comrades X-Pac and Road Dogg, Molly Holly, and Alundra Blaze for the announcement. HBK explained that stars with a successful 2022 will get to participate in the matches at NXT Deadline, which for the men's match will include Carmelo Hayes, JD McDonough, Joe Gacy, and Grayson Waller, with a fifth man being decided in a wildcard match next week. Zoe Stark, Cora Jade, Roxanne Perez, and Kiana James, and a wildcard entrant decided next week, will enter the Women's Iron Survivor Challenge with a shot at Mandy Rose on the line. These matches will be the latest new stipulations for WWE, and we'll have to see who qualifies next week and who ultimately makes history as the first Iron Survivor Challenge winners. We've got some concerning news from Danhausen now, as the AEW star was recently the victim of a hit and run. In a tweet, the very nice, very evil wrestler informed fans that as if being the victim of a car accident wasn't bad enough, he missed the flight he was supposed to take, and his second flight was delayed by three hours. Since joining AEW in January, Danhausen has proven to be a hit with fans, but has been teasing a new, darker character in recent weeks. It's ironic that Danhausen has the ability to curse wrestlers, as he had some serious bad luck this week, and we hope he can avoid any similar incidents from now on. At Survivor Series, Sami Zayn proved his loyalty to the bloodline once and for all, turning his back on Kevin Owens for good and helping Roman Reigns, the Usos, and Solo Sokoa win. Zayn was made an honorary Us by the Tribal Chief last month, but that may have come far earlier, according to Sarah Tun. Speaking on the Not Sam podcast, Tun, a WWE costume designer, explained that back when Zayn first began working with the Bloodline, there had been talk of putting honorary on his tights, but that had never transpired. Tun added that this is for the best looking back, as instead of the term appearing on his tights, fans got to see Roman Reigns make Zayn an honorary oos in one of the most acclaimed WWE segments of this year. The WWE costume designer added that they have molded much of Zayn's ring gear on Roman Reigns himself to establish the connection between the two stars. With Zayn proving himself inside war games, the bloodline seems stronger than ever before, and we'll just have to wait and see what's next for the honorary Oos. Now, since AEW All Out, CM Punk has been suspended from the company for instigating the backstage fight with the Elite. Out of everyone involved, Punk is the only person to still be suspended, but now his status may have changed in a serious way. Speaking on the latest episode of The Sessions, Stokely Hathaway spoke about All Out and the ending of the show that teased The Firm feuding with CM Punk. Of course, this feud never got to happen, and when speaking about what could have been, Hathaway let it slip that Punk is seemingly gone. Everything that was supposed to happen with The Firm did not happen. Back it all out, what happened immediately after the pay-per-view, that was a huge part of it. The person we were supposed to directly feud with is no longer in the company. Hathaway added that while he doesn't want to reflect on people choosing sides in Punk's beef with the Elite, it meant a lot to him that Punk singled him out as someone he wanted to work with. As you'd expect, Tony Khan hasn't confirmed Hathaway's claim, and it was reported just a few days ago that the problematic former world champion is seeking a buyout of his contract. While some fans hoped that Punk would return, the AEW locker room have reportedly refused to work with him if he is brought back, and now it looks like his days with All Elite Wrestling have at long last come to an end. During this week's Raw, EO Sky was feeling pretty beat up after competing in the Women's War Games match and donned a neck brace for the show. It was said during the show that Sky wasn't cleared to compete, and it turns out that this isn't just for the show. On Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer explained how in addition to wearing the neck brace on Raw, she also wore it backstage both before and after the show. While Sky wasn't cleared to compete, she did attack Becky Lynch alongside Dakota Kai, but eagle-eyed viewers will have noticed that Sky didn't take any shots to the neck or any bumps whatsoever. It certainly appears that the former NXT Women's Champion was hurt for real during War Games, and with Sky currently holding one half of the WWE Women's Tag Team titles, it remains to be seen when she'll be back in the ring. 
Speaking of injuries, it was on the November 18th SmackDown that Kevin Owens returned to TV, being revealed as the fifth member for Team Brutes for the Men's War Games match. In the days prior to his return, though, Owens suffered an MCL sprain during a WWE Live event, which many believed would keep him from the show. That thankfully didn't happen, but that doesn't mean Owens is fully healed, as on his show, Meltzer said that the prizefighter's knee is still pretty banged up. Meltzer added that it was impressive that Owens' knee held up not just for war games, but also for his appearance during this week's Raw. It was also noted that when his MCL sprain happened, there were genuine concerns that Owens would be out for a while, which would have come after months of him being off of TV. Luckily, Owens was able to dodge that bullet, but despite just returning to TV, it may be time for the former Universal Champion to take things easy for the next couple of weeks. At Survivor Series War Games, Brian Kendrick made his return to WWE, producing the SmackDown Women's Championship match between Ronda Rousey and Shotzi. Given the controversial comments Kendrick made in the past, many thought they'd never see him work in WWE again, but the decision for his return wasn't exactly the company's alone. On Wrestling Observer Radio, Meltzer explained that Rousey herself specifically requested Kendrick be brought in for the show, and WWE agreed. Brian Kendrick was Ronda Rousey's original wrestling trainer, and she suggested she asked for him to be brought in for her match with Shotzi, so he was in on Saturday, and it was not a hire. Rousey and Kendrick worked together in WWE before her debut match at WrestleMania 34, and the UFC Hall of Famer has previously praised Kendrick as one of the greatest minds in the history of the industry. Whether Kendrick produces any more matches for WWE only time will tell, but the fact that he was brought back for Survivor Series shows the significant sway the baddest woman on the planet has backstage. More from Survivor Series now as Roman Reigns may have ended the show standing tall yet again, but the Tribal Chief was far from pleased. It was reported earlier this week that Reigns was furious after the match over a spot that didn't go as planned with Kevin Owens, and now we have an update. In the daily update from the Wrestling Observer, it's noted that Reigns took issue with a slap from Owens, which left noticeable bruising under his left eye. Despite reports that Reigns was upset backstage, it was said that 20 minutes later it had all blown over, and there are no lingering issues between the two. It had been reported that the shot by Owens led to a possible broken eardrum, and while that may be the case, Meltzer made it clear that this has not been confirmed as of yet. It's good that Reigns and Owens were able to move on from the spot, as the Canadian is rumored to be the next opponent for Roman at next year's Royal Rumble, and perhaps this real-life drama will play into their storyline. Earlier this year, Lacey Evans made her return to WWE TV after over a year away due to her pregnancy. After her return as a face, Evans was taken off TV, moved around the rosters a couple of times, and re-returned as a heel, only to be taken off of TV again. Speaking on Two Truths, One Lie, Evans explained to Brandi Rhodes that she's eager to get back in the ring and back on TV, but that's only a call WWE can make. Yeah, I hope so, Evans responded when Brandy says she hopes to see her soon. I mean, some stuff may be in the works. I just gotta keep working hard, and when they're ready for me, I have to be ready. So, you know how it is. I'm just waiting on that phone call. Good or bad, good or bad, it's a phone call, man. You just gotta be ready. Evans was once poised to win the Raw Women's Championship and was set to enter WrestleMania 37 with the gold, but now she's lucky to even get 30 seconds in a backstage segment. If WWE has something planned for Evans, then she may be back on our screens before you know it, but with more women being rehired by Triple H, that's a pretty big if for the sassy Southern Belle. Speaking of returns, it was at the 2020 Royal Rumble that Edge made his miraculous return to wrestling, and the Hall of Famer has competed several times since then. During an episode of Raw in August this year, Edge defeated Damian Priest in his hometown of Toronto, but gave a shocking update to fans after the match. I hope to come back one last time here in Toronto. Looking at the calendar, we usually come here in August, so next August, I guarantee each and every one of you that I'll be back here, and in a perfect world, we all say goodbye to each other that night. Many saw that as a sign that Edge will be retiring again next year, which certainly seems to be the case. While it is never a welcome sight to watch a true hero go, it's nice to see the ultimate opportunist do it on his terms, and fans should cherish the few remaining matches we get from the Rated R Superstar. More from NXT now as Shawn Michaels was on this week's show to share details about the Iron Survivor Challenge and threw it a line that has had fans talking. 
Speaking about the criteria when picking who participates, Michaels said he would pick people he felt has had a good year, but he added, I don't mean that from a wins and losses or analytics standpoint. Fans were quick to see this as a dig at AEW, who have often touted the importance of wins, losses, and other data when it comes to deciding who gets title matches. The irony of this being that while AEW believes in the importance of data, the booking doesn't reflect it, as fans have pointed out that FTR should have had multiple AEW World Tag Team title matches recently if Tony Khan was going by wins and losses. But what do you think of the line? Was this a dig at AEW, or are fans just reading too much into things? Let us know in the comments. If you know about Mia Yim off TV, you'll know that she has a friendly rivalry with Shelton Benjamin, and the two can often be found poking fun at each other on social media. Obviously, this is all in good fun between two friends and WWE superstars, but one tweet from Benjamin recently crossed a line with fans. Sharing a pic of Rhea Ripley's suggestive pin on Yim, Benjamin joked that it was a dream come true scenario, which earned a backlash by fans online. So many fans felt that his comment about two colleagues was inappropriate that Benjamin later deleted the tweet and posted again afterwards, saying that too many people didn't get the joke. Benjamin did receive some words of support from fans, many of whom argued people need to realize that ribbing each other is just how he and Yim communicate, almost like a brother and sister. Nevertheless, Benjamin's original tweet is a thing of the past, and he'll perhaps think twice the next time he posts about his friend. Now this year has seen Austin Theory come into his own on Raw, as the two-time and reigning United States Champion has become a regular on TV. Earlier this year, Theory teased a feud with John Cena that never emerged, but the two did have a backstage segment during John's 20th anniversary since his main roster debut. Speaking to City News Ottawa, Theory was surprisingly candid and broke character enough to talk about Big Match John. That was a huge moment for me, actually, because that was the first time that I've done anything on screen with John, and for it to be a promo was pretty special, and not just a walk-by. It was a confrontation, and just getting to have that two minutes with him, it meant a lot to me. With Cena reportedly locked in for WrestleMania 39, perhaps the match with Theory will happen after all, but at this time, the reigning US champ is pleased to have just shared the screen with Big Match John. We've got some very joyous news from Dana Brooke now as the Raw superstar turned 34 yesterday and celebrated in a very special way. On social media, Ulysses Diaz shared a post about Brooke wishing her a happy birthday and revealed that the couple are now husband and wife. The couple evidently married in secret after announcing their engagement in July of last year, and there's been no photos leaked online of the ceremony. With the 24-7 championship now retired, it remains to be seen what WWE will do with Brooke next, but we're offering our congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Diaz at this happy time. And we're ending with NXT as there is one spot left for the men's Iron Survivor Challenge match, and perhaps that spot will be filled by the recently returned Dijak. Last week, the man once known as Dominic Dijakovic and T-Bar returned to NXT, complete with a new look and mean streak that made quick work of Wes Lee. Dijak assaulted the NXT North American Champion after his match with Carmelo Hayes, and this week had his first match in NXT in two years. In his in-ring return to the white and gold brand, Dijak demolished Dante Chen, leveling him with his Feast Your Eyes finisher. Post-match, Dijak promised to destroy everyone in his path, and that could easily be what happens given his dominant performance. After attacking Wesley, it seems Dijak's eyes are on the North American Championship, and we expect a title match between the two at some point down the line. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.